All right, guys, we are in Munster, and I'm here with Orion Teddy. What's up, man? I'm good. I'm very good. Nervous. A little nervous. Little nervous. Yeah. So today I'm gonna take you through a basic powerlifting chest and upper body day, basically. Okay chest and back day that I do. I do chest and back twice a week now. Okay. In my preparation for a part of the meet April 15th. Today right. is supposed to be a heavy bench for me. Okay. I work myself up to 232 and a half kilograms. Two and a half, I hate that. <laughs> why, why two and a half? Like <laughs> two and a half. Let's, let's just go for like it, it 235. <laughs> like <laughs> two and a half. Like heavy bands, heavy okay. session. And then afterwards, you're going to teach, teach me some posing. Right? Okay, yeah. I feel I feel confident on that part. We'll do the posing part. Yeah, <laughs> but I've never done like a powerlifting type of workout, so this will be interesting for me. Plus, I do a lot of obviously bodybuilding isolation work, so mm -hmm. my bench press is probably going to be very different to yours. So we'll see. What's your, what's your, what's your best ever bench? So. I'm going to get a little secret here. Yeah. I was banned from flat benching. I've never done flat benching because I was part of a team called Team Food Tech and it was a bodybuilding team. We had all different class winners in there, so all of us in. And about three of the lads all tore their pec on flat bench and we just basically banned it in our, in our, oh, <laughs> in our thing because it was just a young lad, he was a junior as well. So much potential, he was a junior, British junior champion. Mm -hmm. And he went into bench and he had a tour, he's pecking. I don't know, I've just always had a fear of it, so I've always stayed away from it. So yeah. I do, yeah, three plates, mm -hmm. no more mm -hmm. than that, and I've always- Yeah, you never, you never yeah. maxed out. And I've, what I always used to do, if I ever did flat bench, it always be at the end, mm -hmm. fully warm, wide grip, and just mm -hmm. more repetition rather than- Yeah, high rep, yeah. volume, 10 plus reps. Yeah. <laughs> Good to sort of train when uh, things are a bit different, you know, things are a bit harder. For example, the bench, the, the setup here is not as perfect as I would wish. So if I'm able to hit the numbers today, that's very promising. Yeah, yeah, when I have the perfect bench, perfect bar, perfect plates, you know, then, you know, I should do a lot better. So it's good to sometimes, you know, train with not Cheating as equipment. as <laughs> good equipment, I guess you know. I, I use I use Rogue 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 Fitness, you know, <laughs> the best fitness. Your bar, strong, nice still, good, nice control. Two hundred and ten kilograms. First good. Next set will be my top set. <laughs> This looks nice. You know, I, I never, I never use bumpers. It looks impressive. It's like I finally feel like I'm strong. You know, <laughs> using the bumpers. So I always think, just do people want to see this like every day with what I'm doing? Because people say, just vlog it, do what you do every day. They want to see it day in day out. They want to see progress. Yeah. I'm thinking there's only there's only so much chicken and rice I can show somebody. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Uh, I have the same mindset though. But this is the first time that I am documenting my whole journey. Nice. When I, because I'm, 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 you know, I, I have a hard time sometimes just talking about just nothing and everything to the camera. So I'm just like filming my training, maybe even just talking less on those uploading videos, just to for the people, for the fans to see me training, and then they can look back and see the progress on how I progressed the last 12 months. You know. I think my camera. Let's go. Spot. Yes! Let's go. That was very cool. 232 and a half. Two and a half. On a Great. busy day. 
I was happy. I was happy with that. Yeah. Very happy, you know. Yeah. Nice. I don't know. I thought you made that look quite easy to achieve. Look easy? So done like few? Yeah, easy. Couple of reps? Easy, couple reps. Done. So I actually put my breath in to keep my tension. I want to do less than five reps. If I do any more than that, you kind of have to breathe. Otherwise, <laughs> you're just going to pass out. Yeah. It's just to keep the tension, you know. I, I feel like I'm stronger if I hold my, I hold my breath in. Uh, if I'm doing less, um, less reps. Have you ever come close to passing out? No, thank you not. I've been sick numerous times, like in my early days, where you've uh, pushed yourself to the absolute limits where I brought my meal up, my, my pre-workout meal up before, but uh, yeah, I've never passed out. This is a fact, guys. I've never gone through a posing routine posing workout, so I'm quite excited. Okay, so we're gonna do that now then. Excited slash nervous, because you know, I'm showing off my body, my, my, my fat body compared oh, to yours. Oh, I've seen it today, he's shredded. If you look on my uh, social media, he's in very I'm good I'm shredded nick. for a fat guy, let's, let's put it that way. <laughs> for a you fat know. guy, I'm okay. <laughs> for a fat guy. You know. Mm. Okay, yeah. but no, it'd be interesting to see this, it'll be good. Yeah, thank you. Let's just go and have a little bit of fun, and we'll do I'm some posing now. I'm going to show him men's bikini, I meant men's physique, those <laughs> and then bodybuilding as well. Let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> All right. And it's important, obviously, with bodybuilding is to show aesthetics. So if you was to put a mirror down the middle of your, your torso, you want to try and show everything aesthetically that's symmetrical. Mm -hmm. So what we tend to do, we're going to do the first one, which is my front shot, it's a men's physique front shot. And we're going to show that V taper, we're going to get the lat spread and the delts popping. So hands on hips and sit down on your abs. Yeah, nice. Lats up, that's it. But not to, try not to roll your, your shoulders over. So your shoulders are back, chest up, and then lats out. So yeah, so once your lats are out, then try to pull back. So you're, you're rounding off like that, so try to stand up and keep your lats out. That's it, better, and then sit on your abs a bit more, so exhale, that's it. See how much your waist tightened up then as soon as you did that. literally bring your waist everything so tight you okay cramping. Yeah, I, I, yeah yeah i've had this issue like throughout my whole career like With cramping like yeah that. even though i take a lot maybe it's because my body weight my height yeah, of course. yeah you know i don't know what it is but like i i drink a lot of electrolytes a lot yeah. of water but when especially when I, when I when I do these like 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 posing yeah, and, yeah. and squeeze the muscles, you can't pull. It, it just comes. So there's that. So what I do is so I do ten sets. So you hold down like that. Three, two, one. Yeah. Three, two, one. So you do that ten times. Crazy. And then from the side, ten times. Crazy. Just that by itself is an exercise. Yeah. Oh, it's, Honestly, within, so if you do, so I do that there three times, 10 times, do it again, 10 times, three times, and then the other side, 10 times, three times. And you're literally dripping with sweat. Yeah, that, it's one of the hardest things, but you can, when you're on stage, when everyone's shaking, because yeah. they've not got that mind to muscle connection yeah. control. Yeah. Because I've done that day in, day out, it's just effortless, and mm. it's so easy to hit. So there's so much to pose in, yeah. rather than just standing in the mirror, just hitting a few bows. There is so much more to it. And mm. the more you practice, the better it is. Like you say, for powerlifting to a bodybuilder, for anything, the more you practice it, the better you'll be.
All right, guys. Uh, super good workout. Super good posing session. Thank you so much, Ryan, for taking me through a posing session. No, no, thank Feels you. Feels good, me. man. Feels good. Even <laughs> though I had some, you know, cramps down there, there yeah. popping in my. But that's that. Honestly, that's so normal. I think most people who've never done bodyweight pose will cramp up straight away because it's a lot harder than you think. It's mm -hmm. not. It's not just standing in the mirror and hitting a few shots. You've got to hit every muscle group. So, yeah, that was inevitable, really. Especially after a workout as well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you are a bit depleted, a bit more dehydrated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But no, I appreciate it. you. Look good, man. <laughs> loved it. Loved it. You no, got to do it again. Yeah, appreciate 100%. you. And before I leave, where can people find you? Uh, yeah, so on my social media, uh, Ryan J. Terry on Instagram and Ryan Terry on YouTube. Go mad. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Peace and love.